Hey guys, hope you're off to a great start today and uh, feeling some of the positivity that's flowing through the air and finding some hope in all this uh, challenging times that we're facing. And I was reminded recently of a story and I want to share it with you because I think it will be helpful for all of us uh, in today's uh, challenging times. So in, in downtown Enterprise, Alabama, there is a prominent landmark and a tribute that was erected by its citizens in 1919 to show their appreciation to the bull weevil. Now, the bull weevil, you may not know the story, um, had a profound influence on the area's agriculture and economy uh, almost a little over 100 years ago. And believe it or not, the town of Enterprise, Alabama actually hails the bull weevil as the herald of prosperity. And it stands as the world's first monument built to honor an agricultural pest. Now, the bull weevil is sometimes referred to as the Mexican cotton bull weevil, and it was indigenous to Mexico, but it appeared in Alabama in 1915. By 1918, farmers were losing entire crops of cotton. Then a man came along by the name of H.M. Sessions, and he saw this as an opportunity to convert the area to peanut farming. In 1916, he convinced C.W. Baston, an indebted farmer, to back his venture. The first crop of peanuts paid off their debts and was bought by farmers seeking to change to peanut farming from cotton farming. However, as time went on, cotton was actually grown again. But what was important is farmers learned to diversify their crops, a practice which brought new money into Coffee County. Now, that story is very uh, powerful to me because it really kind of shows us what we can do in challenging times and how what is sent to us can be seen as the worst thing that we could ever expect. It can actually become the best thing that ever happened to us. You know, things right now seem kind of bleak and you can choose to focus on opportunity is nowhere because of all the things that have happened to you. But I believe that there's a, a statue that may be erected to the coronavirus in the future because of the disruption that it has caused. And things may be bleak, but I believe that innovation is actually gonna come from this particular time. You know, they say that the only time that we as humans change is when the pain of changing becomes less than the pain of staying the same. And right now, that's an opportunity for us. I'm choosing to believe that we seek out opportunities. We're going to find opportunities. I believe that opportunity is now here. And I know that everywhere I look, it shows opportunity is nowhere. Uh, you know, restaurants are closing, you know, grocery stores and all kinds of different places are putting uh, different uh, circumstances into play where it's pre protecting its customers, but really creating a lot of hardships on a lot of people. But there's a book out there that if you haven't read it, it's a longtime favorite of mine. It's called Who Moved My Cheese? And it was written by Dr. Spencer Johnson. And what he does in the book is he explains the benefits and advantages of leveraging changes to seek out new opportunities versus wishing things would just return to normal. There's a new kind of normal right now. We have to be willing to embrace that. And the sooner that you embrace it, the better off that you're going to be. You know, ancient wisdom tells us that if we seek, we will find. If we ask, we will receive. If we knock, the doors will be open. Now, I believe in today's context that what we find and what we receive and what doors are open is connected to what we are seeking. What we're asking for and what doors that we knock on. And what dictates all of that is what we choose to think, watch, and listen to. It's also dependent upon who we surround ourselves with. We're all given a choice on what we will think, what we'll do, and what we'll pursue. But much of that that has been lost, which a lot of things have been lost. There's a loss of income, a loss of opportunities, there's a loss of um, experiences, whether it be travel or um, opportunities with your children, your grandchildren, friends. There's a lot of things that have been lost, but if you are choosing to focus on what you can gain and you take more of a long-term perspective, I believe that everything, everything that has been lost will be gained. You will gain more in the future if you will seek, if you will ask, and if you will knock. So remember that if we never lost what we lost, we never may have gained what's about to be gained. So I hope this message finds you encouraged or maybe it picks you up a little bit, but I truly believe that uh, the best times are ahead of us. Keep focusing in on what's to come out of this 
and maybe you too might find more encouragement to go through your day and seek out opportunities that may come to you because you are seeking them out rather than wishing things were the same. Have a great day, everybody.